Hello everyone, today I have a different kind of video that was requested by a few people. This is in my opinion the best cheapest rig to start mining any crypto coin. When you are building a computer dedicated to mining, you want to focus on a low power draw to save the electricity cost and have a high hash rate by focusing on the best graphics card you can buy. We can start with the CPU, which is a lot less important when you are building a mining rig because you will almost never use your CPU to mine. With trying to keep the costs and power draw down, I would recommend the Intel G3900. The CPU is only slightly used in the background when mining, but that doesn't mean you want to get a Pentium. The G3900 is around 58 US dollars depending on where you shop. On Amazon you can pick one up for $57, including Prime shipping. Under high stress, it only uses about 35 watts or 21 in idle mode. Moving on to RAM, you don't need a lot, but many popular mining programs require at least 4GB. For this build, I would recommend the Corsair Vengeance LPX model, as Corsair is a trusted brand and it's even a slower version than the same ones I use on my main PC. For $56 on Amazon, you can pick up the DDR4 4GB 2400MHz model with Prime shipping. Under the motherboard for this system, the heart of every computer, I would suggest a Gigabyte GA H110M board for $56. This micro ATX DDR4 motherboard is compatible with our RAM and CPU, which is a very important thing to look out for when building any computer. This board only allows for one GPU. If you're looking to run a multi-card system, I would recommend the MSI Gaming H110 LGA motherboard, which allows for two-way SLI for only $10 more at $64. I like this board more because of future scalability if you ever want to upgrade your system with another card. Now for the storage part of this build, I strongly recommend the Kingston 120GB SSD. SSDs are generally better for mining rigs because they consume less power than your regular old hard drive, but you get a lot less storage for your dollar. For example, at the same price of this 120GB drive, you could easily get a terabyte of a much slower but bigger hard drive. Kingston is a long time trusted manufacturer of drives, and I trust them completely. Buying an SSD will be 10 times faster than a hard drive, which makes loading back into your computer way faster, which is good for doing tweaks or getting your computer back up and running after a crash. The warranty on this is 3 years, and Kingston has great customer service to help you if you have any problems. At $50, this is a steal. For the power supply, I suggest the EVGA 500W bronze rated PSU for $54 right now on Amazon. EVGA makes great power supplies, with a lot of safety features on board to prevent fires or damages to any of your other parts. You do not want to skimp out on your power supply. Many people do, and it's very dangerous and can result in fires because usually they are very poorly made and are very inefficient. When choosing a case for a computer like this, I would recommend none at all. Having your rig stay open aired will fare a lot better in your temperatures and also cut costs. You can just leave your rig on top of the box your motherboard came in or build a cheap frame out of wood. Most miners are open aired and it will save you the $30 you spend on a useless case. Now for the part of the computer you want to spend the most on, the graphics card. An AMD card would suit you just fine. Prices are a bit inflated right now because of the huge demand, so try and look on all the different online websites. If you are lucky enough to live next to a micro center, then going there will help you find a much cheaper GPU than you will find online. I've seen a few guys drive across multiple states to get to one. The graphics card I recommend is an RX 570. Try and find the cheapest one you can get across websites like Newegg or Amazon. There isn't that many differences between the different aftermarket cards, usually it's just a change in fans or looks. Try and find one by popular brands such as EVGA, MSI, Gigabyte, or Sapphire. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video gets 10,000 views, I will personally go and buy all the parts for this computer and benchmark all the parts. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.